Yes, people, it's your boy, Fred Stones. Thanks for joining me once again. 9 p.m. gang to the world. <laughs> Where you at? I'm here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <yo. laughs> so the first part of the show, yeah, was all about Shafiq. We're going to call her Shafiq today. What's her name again? Shanice. We're going to call her Shafiq. She reminds me of my brethren that sells... um. Flavoured hummus in Harrow on the car on them things there, yeah. But yeah, Shafiq, yeah, it was all about her the first part. But before that, yeah, Shauna, Shauna was relieved. She was relieved that someone who just dropped a log, dropped the kids at the pool. Like, you know, them ones that when you just like, you know, when you dropped a log and just life couldn't be better at that moment. That's how she felt. Because remember, she batted up Callum yesterday, grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and told him, yo, go tell Becky with the good hair where it is. And he did, like a little waste man that he is. So yeah, Becky told Leanne and Jess, yeah, that she smooched Connor. <laughs> Filthy animal. Yeah, and they was like, oh my God, you know them ones there? Like, I can't believe it. And they were like, do you like him? She's like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and all them things there. And basically, within a space of God knows how long, yeah, very, very quick, it just spread it round. The girls was gossiping about it. The guys was gossiping about it. It's mad. The way they edited it, it looked like it was some Chinese whisper thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. And then Finley, Finley the boys were talking. They was like, you know what? Um, Connor G needs to tell Shafiq before Shafiq finds out. Because if Shafiq finds out, Shafiq's going to be on a madness, yeah? So what Connor G did, Connor G, yeah? I'm glad he's got the G in his name. Because he's moving like a G still. He went mad when the girl didn't like him. He just waited his turn. That's a real dude right there. I like Conor G still. Got nothing bad to say about Conor G. Conor G took Shafiq to the side. He said, yo, you've been smelling like kebab rolls and them things there. And I don't think like it can work out. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. He just said, look, me and me and um, um and Becky getting on very rare, rare. We shared a little kiss last night. And on the surface of things, yeah, Shafiq looked like she dealt with it. Very adult about it until she got into that room. She went in the diary room, yeah, and she was like, do I have mug written all over my forehead? Yes, you do, Shafiq. You do. You just haven't looked in the mirror lately. You got mug written on your... Matter of fact, I'll throw a tea bag at you. That's how bad it is in them things there. Like, you're a waste man, Shafiq. Real talk. Now you know how it feels to be mugged off. Remember how you mugged off my G, Naz? Now you know how it feels to be mugged off, you waste man. Shafiq here. Yeah, I'm not even sure about Shafiq. Never was sure about Shafiq in the first place. Talking about, oh, it's his loss. No, it's your loss. You're the loser. Le who the her. You are the loser. Like, you're the one making it up in the head like he ever fancied you. He never said anything of such sort. You made this up in your head. You're crazy. Crazy. I think you're crazy. <laughs> you actually thought he's into you, that he fancies you. That's like fancying diarrhea. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he's not that into you. Mike and Leanne are literally in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're coming, whether they're going, if they're on some arrival or departure. Like, if they got... I don't know. I don't know. Like, but Mike is trying. On the surface, it looks like he's trying. But, ugh. Call me a pessimist if you want, yeah? But I just think, I feel like he's just like doing what he can. So later on when he just disappoints her. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but... The body language to me, there's no chemistry there. There's nothing there. Mike still made her some breakfast, yeah? Brought some breakfast to her. I can't remember what it was, some toast and jam or something like that. Like, he's still doing, like, all everything he's meant to do. So, do you know what? Apart from what I feel about Mike, I can't, I can't even knock anything he's doing. Because on, like, on, on surface level, he's doing everything he's meant to do. Brought her breakfast. She complained a little bit still. Not in his, not in his face, behind his back. But... I really don't know what's going on there. Because then we found out, yeah, that the night before, right after, like, they had that ch chat yesterday and she high-fived him and all that, like, they went to bed that night and they were cuddling and kissing and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, like, what? What? Little John voice. Then I realised it's a good thing. Then I was like, yeah, yeah. But I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know what they're doing. Like, Confused.com, yeah? When a Mike made Leanne breakfast, like, Connor G, I can't remember who made him his breakfast, but he didn't make it. One of the, one of the guys made it for him, and he brought some breakfast for Becky with the good hair as well, yeah? You should have seen the look on Shafiq's face. You would have thought someone else was making some flavoured hummus and them things there. Like, mad! Mad! Leanne then said, yeah, that she likes Mike, like, he's different to the guys she's dealt with in the past. 
that she's, she, I think she's not sure how to like, maybe, do you know what it is? I don't know, yeah, maybe like, she's been through a lot and she's been cautious. Because I'm, like, once you've been through something before, some people are different. They go through heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak, never learn and keep going through the same stuff. Some people go through it once, never repeat again. Maybe she's one of those people. Yo, see Naz, yeah, in this series, my man is just chilling. Come to enjoy a free holiday, a little publicity for his name and them things there. My man's on some chili pepper thing. He's just chilling, like makeup vibes. I like Naz still, just relaxing. Shauna and Rebecca spoke and they kind of, contraception patched up their differences. So they're, they're kind of good now because no one ain't trying to teeth Shauna's man now. Like if you want to get Shauna vexed in it, just like, just, just go next to her man and them things there. She will beat you over the head with her bag and them things. Like, she not, she's not playing. She don't play about her man. Then they got a text about playing some game called Las Vegas. The game was like that game show on TV. Pointless. Absolutely pointless. You know them ones there? But yeah, um, it was a game, yeah? Guys were wearing budgie smugglers. They had to stand on this roulette wheel. It was spinning round. Then they had to go smash the hammer on this thing. Go grab their gal and then try to walk up the hill in slime. Married. Dumb, dumb. Anyway, it was alright, yeah? But you know what? Side note, side note. My Ghanaian brothers, oi! My African, oi! I love all my brothers out there. I love all you guys. But see who's repping for you lot this year, yeah? This guy. This guy. My man, Mike. That's who's repping for Ghana this year, yeah? So, we had Ovi last year. <laughs> all I gotta say. Conversation dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> The guys and girls was in the garden. The girls was talking about their ideal wedding and stuff. Then the guys was talking about ideal, uh, their ideal wedding. Like, but well, Connor with the teeth, like the horse guy, he proper got into it and them things there. Like, he's like, yeah, I want this type of wedding and all this. And then Callum, like, it was kind of nice. It was cute. You know what I'm saying? To know that they're this young and they've kind of like vis envisioned this thing. It's, it's, it's good. It's nice to hear and all that, yeah? But then the text came through. Two new boys and all that. Shafiq got excited. Shafiq, like when he first got his car, my brother Shafiq, when he first got his car, Shafiq got mad excited. Like, oh! Like, Shafiq, like, you're dead. You're dead out here. You'll be someone's last choice. Like, anyway, Shafiq got, got excited and the girls were like, oh, maybe we can find you a man now, Shafiq. And Jess was like, oh, and me. <laughs> as if she's not, as if she's not coupled up with Nazi now. Like, no one ain't. Nas might as well just pack his own bags and just ask the producers if he can leave. On the real time, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Like, Nas, why are you there, my G? You gotta try it. Tap, 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 tap the tank. Come on, man. Oi! See when evening time came, yeah? Evening time was a mazza. The two guys was arriving in it. The girls was gonna host them. They got ready in their Sunday best of them things there. The guys was on the balcony because the girls were gonna be hosting them, so they had to watch from afar and that, yeah? And then... Um, the two boys came true, Justin Bieber, Luke M and Luke T. Justin Bieber and, um, yeah, yeah, Luke M and Luke T, yeah. Oh my God, listen, yeah, first impressions count. Luke T, yeah, my guy, he has to get with Leanne. Listen, like, no homo thing, my man's good looking, he's got swagger, he's sure about himself. Listen, I like this guy, because he reminds me of me still, he reminds me of me, because, listen, like, there's one life to live, you know. You can't go out there like when you feel something, tell some. You got, you got to grab life by the nuts, by the nuts, like, just grab them by the balls. You know what I'm saying? By the balls. Anyway, like this guy, his swagger is on point. I, I like Luke T. Like Luke M. School as well. Like baby, baby. Oh, I like, I like him. But see Luke T. Yeah, I like his vibe, his swagger, his movements, his jokes. Like at first, like he was asking. He came in and started asking everyone, "Yo." What's the situation with the girls? Like, he's, that's a man's man. Alpha male. These guys, yeah, all of them, like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not sure if they got balls between their legs. This guy here, that's a dude. He came in there, he, he went, like, he said obviously there was a bit of an atmosphere when he came in, but he still owned it. He owned himself. All the girls in there, whether they like black guys or not, they're onto my man, because they're like, yo, he's got swagger. Then a text came through, yeah, for the two new boys to go on a date. Luke M had to go on a date with Jess. And then Luke T got to take Shafiq on a, on a date, yeah. I don't know why Shafiq, she's an e man. But he's going to go on a date, innit? She's excited about it. So 
Give her something to be excited about, innit? Like, on that little date, watch after that, she's gonna think he's into, he's onto her, because she thinks everyone's onto her, flipping loser. Anyway, those two gone on a date, but oi, oi, I'm telling you, yeah, see the way my man is, yeah, he will make Leanne sure about what, you know what I'm saying? He, man like that, yeah, will give Gyal confidence. Real talk, man like Mike, yeah, you're there winding up like a chip and dale on them things, yeah? Like, you're telling the boys more about how you feel than you're telling Leanne. Because you're not telling her the same thing. Look, I'm not faulting Mike, yeah? But I just don't think he's all the way 100. 100. But what do you not think about tonight's episode? Oh, before I finish as well, yeah? Paige and Finley had a fight. Paige is an idiot. Swear down. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to take Finley's back on this one. The girls might feel different, like... Because you might feel like, oh, do you know what? New boys come in. You know, every boy, all the boys come down. They've gone to their partners and your guy hasn't come to his partner. One, the guy is 20 years old, yeah? So he's probably the youngest one out of the lot, yeah? I'm not excusing his age or nothing, yeah? But you can tell he genuinely didn't do it on purpose or maliciously. So why are you ripping him a new anus? Leave him, man. But she's mad at him. We'll see that where that, go where that goes. But bun all that, yeah? Luke T! Luke T! Let me know what you lot think, yeah? Gang, 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 gang. Oh, yeah, one more thing, yeah, before I go, yeah? Luke T is a real footballer. You see how Mike was talking about how he used to play semi-pro football? Yeah, whatever. We all play semi-pro football. Everyone from the ends is playing semi-pro football. Shut up. Anyway, my man's actually a real footballer, isn't he? Yeah? Gang, gang business. I hope he likes black girls. Because if you don't, yo, Luke T. We'll see. Yeah! Gang, let me know what you lot think.